I don't think the camera can focus. This thing is so huge. Um, yeah, so I got a new monitor in today. Um, this is pretty awesome. This is uh, Dell's new UP3221 Q series. And the UP stands for Ultra Premium. Yeah. Um, so this monitor, uh, Dell shipped it out to me. I want to give them a big thanks. Um, they're letting me use this and obviously review it at the same time. Um, but this is going to be a cinematographers or anyone who's doing video um, or even photos. Um, this is going to be the prime monitor. This is going to be an awesome new addition to the, uh, to the setup I have. Uh, currently I'm running a couple 8K monitors as well as some other 4K. But this is going to be the first true 4K HDR um, 1000 nit and almost a 100% um, DCI P3 gamut, which is impressive, um, especially if you're doing any kind of uh, HDR video um, or just even any regular video. So um, pretty excited. So let's, let's get to it. Let's open this bad boy up. I haven't even seen it yet. It does weigh quite a bit and we'll kind of go over the features as we, uh, as we open this up. Whew. Can you guys see how big this is? Huge. It's also a, it's a 32 inch monitor, obviously, as you can see here, but I think one of the coolest features about this, and this is what they're marketing as, um, is that it has a built in colorimeter, which means you can do all of your color calibration from the monitor directly. You don't have to have any kind of external accessories to it. Um, you just kind of plug and play. I actually don't even know how it works. So we're going to kind of go over that, um, over this today, I guess there's a lot of different spots. Oh. We open this correctly. There is a proper way of doing this, and it says to fold it down on its side here, which we will do. I'm going to open it this way since it comes this direction. Oh boy, it's as big as the table. Oh, geez. Coming through here. Fun little calibration tool, manuals. Got a power adapter. Got some Thunderbolt 3 adapters, which is pretty cool too, because this thing also has um, HDMI 2, DP 1.4, um, and Thunderbolt 3, as well as USB 3.2 connectors to it. So um, this is pretty awesome. This is going to allow you to do um, or have a lot of connections to it. That's my cat's litter box going off right now. How exciting is that? Our studio is right inside where my cats, yeah, you get it. <laughs> so much fun. Got a back panel. Something's in this box. Jeez. It's well packaged, I'll tell you that. All right. So this monitor, since it is meant for video production, actually, let's, let's wait until this thing finishes. Thanks, Catbox. Look, I'm pretending I have a watch on. I don't, I just know this is taking a really long time. And it's gonna go back again one more time. Cool. Now back to our show. <laughs> All right. So this thing is built for a professional. So it actually comes with a beautiful, um, ooh, like sun guard mount. That's going to allow you to uh, reduce the reflections that come off of it. So um, you'll be able to put this around the monitor. This thing is huge. Uh, so we'll save this for later, which is great too. So if you're using this monitor out in the field or on set, um, you know, you can you know, obviously see everything at hundred percent without having any kind of glare on the screen, which is great. All right, let's get to the big meat and potato things. Some other fun accessories over here. There's quite a lot of things in here. This should be the base of the, the stand. Yeah, here's the stand. I don't even have enough room to show you guys everything because this monitor is so huge. And we like big. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna remove this guy. Tilt this up for everybody. Let's see. Here's the inside of the box as we're pulling it out. I'm gonna be very gentle and delicate with this. Here's the stand for it. As well as the monitor itself, which I will take out gently. And then I'm gonna close this up. Oh, this box is huge. Actually, the box weighs about 10 pounds, it feels like. All right. So it's like an unboxing video inside of an unboxing video uh, because here's the main monitor. I'm assuming we just pulled this tab here because it's just sticking out. Who doesn't like ripping things up? Oh, this is nice. Okay. So then it looks like it folds apart right there. Let's actually get our stand set up before we even get the monitor out. Put this to the side here. And I will be mounting these um, on some monitor arms instead of the actual monitor stand, but just for today, we'll use the stand. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got a very nice silver mat to it. Feels very luxurious, very professional. All right. I believe this is toolless, so we can come over here, screw it in at the base. Lock it in, there we go, sturdy. I like it though, it's nice and sleek. And look, they're not charging you $1,000 like Apple is for a, for a stand. And it's really nice too, you can actually see that it uh, is able to move up and down vertically on it. Um, not sure if it moves horizontally yet or in a uh, X, Y axis, but I'm sure we can find that out. All right, let's get the monitor on this bad boy. Two sides to it. I'll give you nice little instructions on the uh, the inside of the uh, cardboard, which is great. Oh, they want you to attach this first before you even take it off, which we will do. Look at that. That is sexy. This way. Oh. It's actually pretty light for what's built into this thing. Wow, that's easy. Hey guys, what's under the box? <laughs> I wonder what it is. All right, so let's unmask this. Look at that, that is some smart packaging design from Dell. Daddy-like. Take off the protective screen. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, look, there's a protective screen under the protective screen. That just shows you how much they care about the quality of their products, which is great. Because the last thing you want to do if you're spending $5,000 on a monitor is scratching the, uh, the surface of the monitor. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. It has a really nice matte black um, finish on it. Obviously, there are production lights that are glaring directly into it, but it's actually doing a pretty nice job of diffusing that light, not like their um, other monitors that have the glossy um, tones to it. Wow. Look at that. That's a pretty monitor. Wow. Okay. Color me impressed. All right, I'm going to center this bad boy up just a little bit. Okay, so you have full tilt capability. Oh, and you can fully rotate it. Look at that, very nice. 
believe if we push down, we can move it up and down. Very nice. My camera's trying to adjust focus because there's so much going on in the scene right now. Hold on one second. There we go. Cool. So this is the new monitor. Wow, it's really nice and sleek. So you can actually set it up so it's high. You can come back here. I'm going to turn this around for you guys. But all of the ports for the HDMI, um, the display channels, uh, and even your um, powered uh, Thunderbolt 3, as well as a uh, super speed USB 3.2, um, all in the back here. Really nicely laid out too. Well, wow. okay, well, that's great. So the next thing is, let's get this bad boy powered up and see what it looks like. <laughs> all right, we're back. Um, as you can see, the monitor is all set up. It's ready to rock and roll. Um, I've hooked it up to my Dell Precision 5750. Um, it's running a Thunderbolt 3 port out of it, straight into the back of it. Um, and we're running this at 4K um, HDR and um, at 60 hertz. So pretty awesome. It's also running at 10 bits, so you're actually getting the full color. I want to show you guys um, just what it looks like. Now, obviously, since this is an HDR monitor and you can't really see this without seeing it live, this isn't going to mean much to you. But let me just tell you, I'm blown away at the quality of this um, when it's in its HDR mode. Um, so let's just go over here real quick. Boop. So this is some HDR content that I uh, produced um, last year, and it basically showcases all the possibilities of using HDR technology with HDR monitors. Um, but if you are looking at this um, on an HDR screen, um, you'd be able to see all of those mid-tone shadows, highlights, um, they just look breathtaking, um, and the color is insane. Um, you'll notice here the vibrancy on this is just popping um, on here, but on this one it's a little more um, neutral. And that's because of the HDR that's on there. It's actually giving you all of those levels um, in the true 10-bit color space, uh, and it just looks breathtaking. Um, so it's something to behold. Now, the next thing I want to show you blew my mind. And this is really what makes this monitor totally unique and totally different from anything that's out in the marketplace right now. And honestly, probably what gives it its hefty price tag um, of $5,000. Um, so I'm going to show you that right now because it's pretty freaking awesome. And that would be... The, uh, the new, sorry, I've got to come in from the side here. That's got to be the new um, self calibration mode. So this will actually do an auto color calibration without having to do anything. And it takes somewhere between maybe six to 10 minutes, um, depending on what the lighting situation is, but it's awesome. It instantly, well, it doesn't instantly, it will color correct your scenes um, on the fly. Pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is come back here on the back of the monitor, I'm gonna stop this really quick. And this is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to hit the button back here. I'm going to take the monitor and go over to Calibrate Now. And all you have to do is hit one button. And watch what happens when I hit this button. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen a monitor do. All right, you guys ready? All right, it's done. And what it's doing right now, if you can see, it's coming out and it's actively color calibrating it. Um, with this little dongle that just pops out and it literally just slides out from the base of the, uh, the monitor here and uh, you're able to color calibrate like that. Pretty awesome, right? So it's going to go through its color calibrating mode right now and this can take anywhere from about six to ten minutes. So it's a little bit of time but at the same time it will save you a lot of time in the long run, um, especially if you want to do this um, during a time where you're not using the computer. This will really allow you to utilize your time more wisely and that's great because um, as an editor or as a cinematographer there's a lot of other things you can be doing aside from color calibrating your monitor. So this is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's talk about some of the stats that are with this while this is color calibrating. This is the UP3221Q. Um, it's got a 60 uh, hertz refresh rate, a 1300 to 1 static contrast ratio. Uh, it has true 10-bit color, um, and it has 2,000 dimming zones uh, with its mini LED backlit screen, um, which is pretty incredible. Um, if you want to compare that to Apple's ProRes uh, display of their XDR, um, it only has 576. So this almost has three times the amount uh, which is going to give you much more accuracy and color uh, overall, which is pretty incredible. Uh, it's got a 99.8% DCI P3 color gamut, uh, which is perfect for any kind of HDR cinematography or videography, um, which makes grading um, so much easier. 
Um, it's got a thousand nits um, in HDR mode. And uh, as you can see here, the number one feature that I think um, really just sets us apart from any other monitor that's out there right now is the damn built-in colorimeter. Um, so really you can get your 100% color accurate um, screen with a click of a button or a press of a button in this instance. So it does the automatic um, color calibrating and um, yeah, I can't, exp I, can't <laughs> I can't be any more excited than that. So um, I'm gonna take this out and do some more testing with it um, as you can see here, but um, I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you like what you saw, you know, like and subscribe. And um, as always, if you have any questions, put them down below and I'll see you guys later. Thanks, have a great day and happy shooting.